Queen's gonna. Oh! Bro, he needed the invis later. <laughs> Rip the plan, dude. He's gonna have to react on the fly and completely change the plan. What is he gonna do to try and save this? Bro, that queen's gonna die. Rip. We're back, ladies and gentle fingers, with match number two in the semifinals of the Torneo de Fuego with Darkness Muzan versus Tom Pinay Empire. If you missed match number one, go back and check it out. It was yesterday's video. Tom Pinay Empire with the victory in match number one. 14 stars to 12. So Darkness Muzan have their work cut out for them. They got to win this match by at least two stars if they want to win the best of two. We got way from Darkest Muzan kicking things off in this match with a little wee wee action. Oh baby, we get to see Waze Lily in action. Rip. Waze wee wee. Still rip. Goodness gracious. Warden walk on the right side of the base to take out the scatter shot nice and early. That baby dragon just barely got the wizard tower. Woo, that was calculated. Ray spell on the warden. Down goes the scatter shot. Unfortunately, he pulls the skelly trap. That's gonna stall him up for a few seconds. Probably could have used a raged up archer to help get through some of that, but instead he's just gonna let the warden snipe those archers. I think he wants him to take out the air defense before we start the next phase of the attack. Warden walks taking like 10 and a half years though. Already down to a minute and 55 left. Yikes. I think we're gonna go with the log launcher here. Bro, this is an old base, isn't it? I feel like this is an ATN base from like 10 years ago. King on the outside of the base. Here we go with the queen and the peckers gonna make their way in from the south side of the base. Log launcher from directly at six o'clock to give us access to most of the base. Jump spell for the back end. Here come the wee wees to chew through the enemy king very quickly. We're not gonna freeze up the first multi. The ice golem freezes everything for us. That's good. King on the left side with a wall breaker. He will have access to the scatter shot. There's a bit of a Tesla farm over there. Probably a skelly trap to, dist to distract him as well. Yep, there's the skelly. I don't know if he's gonna get the scatter or not. Here come the CC troops. There goes the poison spell for the super minions. There goes the warden ability. King might get the scatter. No, he doesn't. Rip, gonna need the RC early and he does send the RC. The warden ability is gonna allow us to get through both multis. Can we keep any of the wizards alive? The RC gets the left side scatter. Healers are doing a great job. We are able to keep, I think, just one super wizard alive. Still got a bunch of peckers, the queen and the warden though. Doing great work up there. We got a bunch of spells left. Gonna send the last rage on the top side of the base. There goes the RC ability. Boom, bada bing, bada bam. Clears all the defenses on the left side of the base. Cannon on the right side. We skip, unfortunately. We don't have a loon or a minion to send for that. That's sadness. We get through the town hall. We get most of the defenses down. There's not a whole lot left. Queen goes for the cannon that we skipped. Yo, I think he's got it. We got the back end wall breaker. Invis spell for the RC, but she's standing inside the orange juice of death. <gasps> Down she goes. Yes, rip. Down go the wizards to the cannon. 22 seconds. We got the queen ability. The only thing that can stop him is time. 19, 18, 17. Hurry up, queen. Go faster. The pecker is going to tank for the queen. He's doing quite a bit of extra DPS as well. Down goes the last door. It's 97%, 98, 99, and 100. It's a three star on the board. Weighs Lily just way too strong for Amwalin to handle. <laughs> Beautiful start to the match from Darkest Muzan. Putting all the early pressure. On to Tompinai Empire. Riak is in with the first attack of the match for Tompinai Empire. Coming in with little Queen Charge Lalo action. Okay. Queen on the top side of the base. We're going to wall break her in toward the Eagle Artillery. He's going to go in. Sneaky Goblin to funnel the left side. Wizard to funnel the right side. Queen will step in. Fight the enemy Royal Champion with a Headhunter. We don't even need a Rage Spell yet. Nice. Beautiful. And save the spells for later. Queen goes in, gets the Eagle Artillery. Looks like we're going to wall break the King in for the scatter shot. All right. Let's see if he'll be successful in taking that out. Queen going to step up. Ooh, she's not going for the air defense yet. Hopefully that air defense doesn't snipe any healers. We're going to send a Coco Loon. We're going to rage up the Queen. King's going in for the scatter. Queen's still not going for that air defense, bro. Bro. <gasps> oh, the timing. Oh, this timing is bad news bears. We're going to need to pop that King ability. Might need to invis the gold storage to force him up for the air defense. <gasps> yes! With the free spell, Lex can see the future. Down goes the air defense. Queen can deal with the CC troops. Okay. It costed quite a bit of spells, but he's able to recover. The healers are going to stay alive. Let's see what the next part of the plan is. We don't have any more wall breakers. We don't have a jump spell. But Queen really has nowhere to go but in toward the town hall compartment. So I think it's pretty safe to say she should be on the right wall. But I don't know, dude. The Queens be wilding these days. 
So you never know. We're going to send a couple minions on the outside. We're going to rage up that queen. She's going to end up fighting a bunch of Teslas and stuff. And then she should hopefully beat on a wall. She won't be able to reach a multi till she does beat on a wall. Oh, the healers are going to get in range of the multi while she's beating on a wall. That makes it awkward. <laughs> and then she picks the stupidest wall possible because she won't be able to reach the town hall. <laughs> oh, gosh. I love Archer Queens, dude. Royal Champion Stone Slammer from the left side of the base. We still have the La Lotus in. Ooh, Queen hopefully picks a... Oh, do, oh she's not going for the town hall. <laughs> and he already sent the Stone Slammer. Oh, dude, rip react. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I jinxed him so bad. We're going to haste loons into the multi on the bottom side of the base. The town hall is going to stay up. This is looking wonky. Oof. RC still alive. We got the warden ability. We got a rage. We don't have any freezes for that town hall, dude. None whatsoever. We're going to rage. We're going to pop this warden ability. <sighs> Please tell me. Oh. 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 Woo. Safe. Never a doubt, dude. Never a doubt. Down goes the town hall. Can he secure the three star? <laughs> 28 seconds. The queen's still alive, but she lost all her healers. The loons are getting wrecked. There's no more splash. He still has a handful of loons over here. Can they get through the air defense? Ooh. Oh. Seeking air mine. Skelly trap. Air defense. Red bombs that somehow missed the minion. Yo, what the? Those red bombs were paid actors, bro. Oh, the air defense stays up. <gasps> the little air defense that could saves the day. It's a defense for Darkest Muzan. And that's just what they needed to have a chance to get back into this best of two. Ty is in with the next attack for Darkest Muzan. If they can keep tripling here, they might still have a chance to win this best of two. And he's going in with a little skybird action here. Well, he's got the E-Dragon and the Baby Dragon. That's four different types of dragons. Can we call it a quadbrid? <laughs> I want to. It's not even a tribrid, dude. It's a quadbrid. I'm going for it. Because I can do what I want. E-Dragon to funnel the Tesla farm on the bottom left side of the base. Baby Dragon to help assist him. Okay, okay, okay. Baby Dragon should hopefully go to the right here. Just taking his time, letting those two dragons work in peace. Oh, the secret air mine. <gasps> Did he still get the Tesla? No, not quite. Rip. Doesn't grab the Tesla. We're going to send one dragon to finish off the job. Dang it. Queen over at 9 o'clock. She's going to walk up. Oh, we got Dragon Riders as well. Oh, no, I already said that. Yeah, four different types of dragons. Bro, the dragon wakes up the town hall. Oh, so we can send the stones there. Oh, oh, the rage and the free. Oh, but the tornado. <gasps> uh oh, town hall still goes down, but the stone slammer got like zero value. Rip. We're going to pop the sword and ability on the left side of the base. Lots of archers and headhunters coming out of the CC. We'll be able to get through all that with the warden ability. Queen pops her ability. King out in front to help tank for her now with a wall breaker. They're going to be able to tag team the enemy king, but okay. That's looking good. You can rage again in the core and free so the dragons can get through the scatter shot. We still have the royal champion to use later. Two skeleton spells, an invisibility, and two freezes. We're going to send the RC on the top side of the base. Freeze to keep the queen alive. Nice. Still got a lot to get through, but with two skelly spells. Okay. Is he going to be able to use the skelly spells perfectly to tank for the royal champion to keep her alive through the rest of the base? We'll see. One dragon rider still alive. The warden is the best golem in the game. Tanking the scatter shot. <gasps> he stays alive. The scatter goes down. The skeleton spells are doing a great job of distracting for the royal champion. We still have her ability. We still have an invisibility spell. No way. He made that work. Nice. Even with the stone slam, we're getting like zero value. Beautiful. There goes her ability. Boom, bada, bing, bada, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Which way is she going to go? To the right or to the left? She's going to go to the left. The cannon goes down to something else. Invis spell to help get her through both builder HUD. And it's a clan class triple. Darkest Muzan are looking good so far here in this match. They're going to be two for two. And if they get one more defense, well, they're just back in the best of two. She's going to be able to go get the platform. Plenty of time to spare. Beautifully done from Ty of Darkest Muzan with the quad bread here against Michael DP's base. Rigatsaurus23 is in with the next attack here of the match. Going in with little queen charge, Lalo. Okie dokie. Gonna charge the top side. Oh, she's taking a lot of damage right away. Gotta rage up early. She's gonna go in toward the scatter shot. Okie dokie. Coco Loon searching for any seeking air mines. Beautiful, but we don't find any, just a red bomb. Another wall breaker to get Queen moving down south. She won't be able to reach the multi on the left, but it looks like we want her to go toward the Eagle Artillery. Okay. <clears throat> Beautiful. One more Coco Loon. Queen can snipe the air defense. Alrighty. Next wall breaker is in, and it gets there. Beautiful. Queen can go inside the Eagle Artillery compartment. We can rage her up. She'll be able to fight the Skelly Trap, the enemy queen, and the enemy king all at once, but no need to fear. She's used to handling that many heroes at once. 
Down goes the enemy queen. We don't even have to use a headhunter just yet. That headhunter was a little bit too early. Ripperoni. She'll still be able to get through him. King on the outside to funnel. That's looking decent. We have already used more than a minute, though, for this queen charge. We don't have a jump spell. No more wall breakers at all. So he's just going to rely on her to beat through a good wall. And uh, we all know how that usually works out. Uh-oh. She might not pick a good wall. Which way is she going to go? He's going to Lalo with a stone slammer again. He funnels, so that way King and the Yak just naturally beat through some walls here. Dude, if they take out the multi, that's going to be OP. That's going to be really OP. I think we're going to start the Lalo straight into that multi on the top side. Oh, the Tesla. Hopefully, that, oh, that's going to pull the King away from the multi. Rip. The plan was so good. The Yak would have beaten through the wall, and the King would have gotten the multi. But the Tesla pulls him outside. That's an OP Tesla from Darkest Muzan, dude. Queen's going to beat on a wall. She's going to go get that multi, though. We do indeed just Lalo with the Stone Slammer from the top side of the base. The Stone Slammer takes out the first multi. The Lalo's going to get through the Town Hall. We got the Rage. We got the Warren Ability. We're holding on to that Warren Ability. Pop it right there at the last second. Beautiful. Queen gets the multi on the right. Dragon on the top side is looking good. We got another Rage to get through the next group of defenses. Scattershot on the bottom side. And we still have the Royal Champion. We still have four spells. Bro, this is OP. Invis and Poison for the Queen to kill the enemy Royal Champion. Double Air Skelly. But the dragon should hopefully be able to take all those out. RC gets a scatter shot. And this homie can swag like two spells. What the heck? Bro, Rigatoras is insane. He can swag the RC ability as well. Beautifully done here from him with the queen charge lay low. Absolutely smashing Manta's base, dude. Two swag spells. 30 seconds to spare. Beautiful three star from Tompinai Empire. Keeping them in this match. C2 is in with the next attack for Darkest Muzan coming in with a little Queen Charge Rider action. Here we go. Queen on the top side. We find a bunch of Teslas nice and early. Okay. Find a Seeking Air Mine as well. Might need a Coco Loon on the left. Looks like we're trying to skip the Town Hall. Or is he going to wall break into the Town Hall? No, I think he's going to try to skip it. Maybe. Potentially. Possibly. Maybe not. There is a Coco Loon and Healer's on the Queen. She's going to start getting hit by that Warden Tower and man, he hits like a truck. You got to watch out. Going to rage up the Queen soon. We're going to wall break over at 9 o'clock. We're going to wall break at 10 for the Queen. Hopefully, maybe. There goes the wall break. Queen, bro, that rage is 10 years too late. What are you doing, homie? Where are his spotters, bro? That rage was way too late. Unfortunately, swags the Queen ability. Down goes the Warden Tower. We get a partial CC pool. Where's the poison? He's going to go with the freeze. Save the poison for later. Sure. Yes. King on the outside to funnel. Okay. King's going to be able to go in for the air defense at 9 o'clock. We do have a jump spell for the queen. <laughs> nice. They'll have more troops to come out of the CC. It's super minions. <gasps> there goes the poison for them. Okay. Queen will be able to easily deal with them. Where's the jump spell? Get queen to the core. Got a rage rip again, bro. Don't tell me. Okay. Whew. I thought I was going to drop the next rage late again. Queen's trying to get that town hall. Where's the jump? Oh. 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 That was an interesting jump. We're going to blimp the Town Hall. King on the left side will be able to use the jump as well. We can go get the Eagle and the Enemy Queen. King and Queen are going to tag team the Enemy Queen together. We're even going to send the Royal Champion to join the party, dude. It's a big old party over here on the left side of the base. Blimp for the Town Hall with Sneaky Goblins. Down it goes. That's looking beautiful. We won't be able to reach the multi in the core, but that's okay. Dragon Riders can probably just sideswipe it eventually. Maybe. We're going to rage up the Queen again. Is she going to end up beating on a wall? Ooh. Queen is going to get the multi in the core. She actually picks a good wall for the first time I've seen today. All right. We got headhunters to send in the warden ability. Probably going to pop that warden ability soon. So the RC can stay alive through the enemy king. Yep, there it goes. The king and the yak are still alive. Yo, what the? Minion pulls all the red bombs in the core. That's beautiful. So the healers can stay alive five ever, which is just one more than four ever. Still got the RC ability. Still got two freezes in the bag. This is looking absolutely OP for Darkest Muzan. There was a freeze for the single target Inferno Tower. Even if they're skelly traps, it doesn't matter, dude. This is wrecked all day long. There's a skelly trap I was talking about. RC can pop her ability. Down go the rest of the defenses. If he pops the ability, he doesn't want to. There's another air skelly. Boom, boom, boom. There goes the RC ability. Plenty of time to spare, 98, 99, and 100% for a beautiful three-star attack from C2. Even though he swagged the Queen ability early, it doesn't matter, dude. Dragon Riders are just that LOL. Absolutely smashes the base, and Darkest Muzan are now three for a three. Amualin is in with the next attack, going in with a little zappy zappy action, nice and early. What did he grab? Uh, a sweeper and some an expo. 
and two other buildings. It's just for funneling. He didn't get any Inferno Towers, didn't get any Scatter Shots, nor an Eagle Artillery. Okay. We're going to send the King in toward the bottom side of the base with an Ice Golem with the Queen to help assist. So they'll have CC troops to fight. RC is going to go in and help as well from the right side here. Sure. King goes in with the Ice Golem. King's already low on HP. We're going to send the Headhunters. We're going to freeze up as well. RC is going to go join the party. Here come the CC troops. Queen, please go inside. She does. Beautiful. Double headhunter and a lava dog CC. Pretty classic stuff there. Ice Golem's gonna freeze everybody up. Still got one headhunter alive. We get the enemy king down. RC and Queen are gonna tag team that lava dog. The king went down. The yak's still tanking a little bit. Lassie out in front. She's gonna die as well. There goes the next poison to help deal with all the lava pups. And down they go. We got the RC ability. We got the queen ability. We got an invisibility spell to use as well. Can hopefully get at least through the eagle with her ability. Please use the invis, sir. Get through the eagle. Yes, down goes the eagle. Queen should make her way to the core. Bro, if she picks a good wall, I'm giving her too much credit, though. We're going to blunt the town hall. Pop the queen ability now, please. Pop it, pop it, pop it, pop it, pop it. <gasps> please pick a good wall. Oh, oh, oh! She picked a good wall, but the skellies are going to distract her. Come on, get the multi. Bro, this is going to be the best Sui ever if she can get the multi. <gasps> <gasps> no! He should have invested one freeze on that expo, dude. That would have been... Cash money if she got that multi. Now we awkwardly have to fly through the multi still. Here we go with the Lalo from the top side of the base. We got two haste and one freeze, and that's it. We're gonna pop that warn ability super heckin' early. The multi is low, but we're gonna have to path there, and there's probably like 78 red bombs there. He's gonna invest the freeze for the multi anyway. He should have just used it for the queen to get the multi then. Rip, because now we gotta path through all the red bombs. Down goes the multi though. This still has a chance. No, no. Test the farm on the left side of the base. Scatter shots just going pew pew pow and killing all of his loons. <gasps> They're all low. Rip. Oh, that's hard to watch, dude. The scatter shot pops them all. Rip. That's going to be a big fail. And I think since Dark and Muzan are perfect, and now they have two defenses in this match. If we're thinking about the best of two from the first match and this match, I think it's all tied up on stars. Darkest Muzan just caught back up. Uh oh, SpaghettiOs. This is getting real interesting now. This one's gonna fall short here at 84%. All we got left is an archer beating on a wall, doing what the archer queen normally does best. Scattershot's getting repaired. It is indeed gonna be all tied up. Yo, this is crazy. This is gonna make for a really good best of two ending. Holy crap. We are indeed gonna run out of time at 84%. And just to confirm with the stats, it is indeed nine to seven. Darkest moves on with the two star lead here in match number two. And if you already forgot, in match number one, Tompi Night Empire won by two stars, 14 to 12. So over the best of two, it's all tied up. Kartik is in with the next attack here for Darkest Muzan coming in with another Inferno Skybird attack. It didn't work for him in match number one. Let's see if he can get it done here in match number two. He's going in with no bat spells this time. Five skellies, a rage, four freezes, and a heal. Okay. Let's see how he's going to do it against reacts base. <clears throat> he does have a bowler as well to help funnel. Sure. And a giant to drop probably in front of the queen at some point. <laughs> We're going to send a minion over at nine o'clock. Alrighty. Bowler to funnel the army camp. Sure. Sure. He likes to take his time with the funnel here on these Inferno Skybird attacks. There was a skeleton spell. King and queen on the top side of the base, it looks like. Inferno Skybird coming in hot and fast from the top left side of the base. Here we go. Early as heck warden ability. Yes, ma'am. King and queen to work uh, maybe in toward the eagle artillery. I think the king might go inside. He didn't funnel the outside buildings. The king might bounce back outside. Rip. <clears throat> I think he wanted him to go inside. I'm not sure. Inferno Skybird gonna split off into like three different groups, which is a little awkward. We're gonna heal the core group. Still gotta blimp the town hall. He might just do that way later. King finds a couple of Teslas on the outside. Queen on the inside with a couple of the Dargans helping to assist her. We're gonna freeze the enemy queen. We're gonna send the Royal Champion nice and early to help assist the king on the right side of the base with the giant. We're gonna freeze the town hall. What? That freeze, I don't know if that got any value. Maybe on the single target Inferno Tower, I guess. I don't know. Next freeze is in. Gonna rage up the town hall as well. <gasps> the lava dog got pulled out of the CC, bro. That's awkward as heck. Mm. Down goes the town hall. We're gonna have to fight the lava dog and the pups. Good thing we got a poison spell to help assist at least. Dragon Riders on the right side with the Royal Champion. We got another Skelly spell. We got the freeze. But again, I don't think this is looking that great for Kartik. This Royal Champion is gonna have to fight the king, and we don't have a headhunter. 
I don't know. His Inferno Skybird's been off today. There goes the freeze to help get through the enemy king. The Inferno babies are going to help assist. Yo, I might have called it too early. Can this still work? We got two Dragon Riders. <gasps> this might still work. We got three Dragon Riders still alive. Uh-oh. They're low on HP, though. The RC needs to snipe that air defense fast. One of them's full on HP. He might get this. The Royal Champion's going to die to the cannon. <gasps> the Dragon Rider takes a seeking air mine to the face. Ooh, it's going to be close. The Queen's still at full health. We got 60 seconds. She's going to pick some stupid walls, though, isn't she? Oh, Queen, you dummy. Just go, go around. You could save yourself so much time. I think the Warden and the Inferno Babies can clutch it up. Please? Maybe? Ooh, I don't know. It's close. I think they get it. With the Owl there as well. The Warden at full health. I think so. Down goes the Wizard Tower. Down goes the Cannon. The Inferno Baby goes for the storage. Yeah, he's got it. He's got it. Woo! Kartik. Getting it done for his team. Just barely. But you know what? A triple's a triple. And Darkest Muzan here in match number two are going to be four for four. Putting all the pressure now on the Tompina Empire who have to triple just to stay in the best of two. Prisan is in with the next attack for Tompina Empire. He has to three star to keep his team in the best of two match. And he's going in with little queen charge rider action with a jump spell. Alrighty, are we going to try to skip the town hall again? Ooh, I think he wanted her to walk left. Oh, oh, I don't think he actually needed that invis. Rip. The queen walked left just before he dropped the invis. So that actually felt like a swag invis already. Rip. Not a great start here. We accidentally, well, not accidentally, but basically swagged a spell. Queen's going to, oh, bro, he needed the invis later. <laughs> Rip the plan, dude. Oh my gosh, she goes back to the right? That was wild. We're gonna have to rage her up. We're gonna have to change the plan on the fly. That rage was late. Oh, rip the queen ability as well. CC troops are coming out. Oh my gosh, the town hall. She better at least get it. Oh, thank goodness. She gets the town hall before she switches targets. Yikes. Baby dragon on the outside. He's gonna have to change the entire plan on the fly. Already swagged an invis. Already swagged the queen ability. The charge is not even going the way he wants it to. He's gonna have to react on the fly and completely change the plan. What is he gonna do to try and save this? Bro, that queen's gonna die. RIP! Uh-oh, can he save the day? We're gonna send the dragon riders and, what, the king? Oh, we need to send the RC so the healers can at least get on the RC. Bro, send the RC. Bro, he's got a headhunter charge. Oh my gosh, he's gonna turn into a king charge. He should have sent the RC with the Dragon Rider so the healers could go on the RC, bro. That would be such OP value. Instead, they're going to get stuck on the King for the rest of the attack. He really should have sent that RC with the Dragon Riders. We need those healers to go on the RC, dude. We're going to rage up the Dragon Riders. We already popped this Warden ability. Rocket Loons from the south side of the base. If healers were on the Royal Champion, I'd say like maybe this somehow has an LOL chance. But without the healers on the Royal Champion, this is going to fade out quickly. RC gets wrecked by the enemy king. We got nine minions in the bag. Swag jump spell that we can use for the king charge on the outside of the base. Rip. The Inferno Towers and the core stay up. Unless, well, we don't have any more freezes for them. He's got a battle blimp that he swagged. At least switch it to a stone slammer and get some percent, please. Sir? Sir? Stone slammer, maybe? Look at the king ability. Hold up. Bro, watch him somehow turn this into a time fail. Why? Why are we blimping? Did, ugh, he probably didn't even have a stone slammer. He didn't even have a stone slammer to switch to, I bet. Is it a oh, is it a sneaky goblin blimp? <laughs> it is. Oh gosh, those poor sneakies. Rip. Yeah, he didn't have a stone slammer to switch to. Otherwise, stone slammer would have gotten way more value. <laughs> Look at how much percent he's still able to get, though. That's impressive. That's just how LOO dragon riders are. That attack went south from the beginning. And he's still able to get 89%. And for those of you who don't know, before this last round of attacks, I said we were all tied up on stars in the best of two, but Tompina Empire had the percentage lead by 10 buildings. They just got an 89% attack, which gives Darkest Muzan now the lead by one star and one building going into the last round of attacks. Darkest Muzan are in with their final attack in the best of two. If they three star here, they win the best of two, no matter what. If they don't three star, in fact, the percent doesn't really matter. If they don't three star, unless they get a 99, we can end up with a weird perfect tie. But if they don't three star, Tompi and I have a chance 
to steal the win. Let's see if Manta can get it done with a Queen Charge Rider attack against Rigators' base. Early Yeti Bomb pulls a CC and makes a nice funnel. Did he use an early Dragon Rider as well? He did. Wow. Okay. Sure. But the CC kills his Dragon Rider. If he would have used that Dragon Rider later, it could have sniped the Eagle. Oh well. Poison spell for the Super Minions, but he drops it in an awkward spot. Ooh, that's going to cost him a Rage. Or a Freeze. Or both. Ooh, there goes the Rage. But he misses the healers. <gasps> oh, she's so low. Oh, oh, oh. Whew. She's okay. We don't have to use the ability just yet. She's in range of the single target Inferno Tower, though. We're going to have to start freezing up. There was a freeze for the single. Might have to rage up the queen again soon. Okay. There goes the next rage. Ego Artillery is already awake. Gonna have to freeze the single again, bro. Just keep freezing. Just keep... Oh, we got the invis. But he didn't catch the healers. Eagle might target his healers if he doesn't act fast. We got the king on the outside. Here come all the dragon riders. Queen might have to pop her ability, bro. Oh, where are his spotters? Spotters? There goes the ability. Down goes the royal champion. Dragon Riders and Royal Champion in for the Ego Artillery. King on the outside taking a lot of damage. Gonna have to pop his ability right away. Queen over here. Might need another Rage for her if he wants to keep her alive. There goes the Rage. She's gonna end up fighting the King soon. Oh, there's the Tornado Trap. Gonna spin her around. She's doing the Disco Dance into the Inmate King. We're gonna invest a Freeze. Trying our best to keep her alive, okay? <clears throat> Dragon Riders over here on the left. We're gonna freeze up. We got one more Invis and that's it. We're gonna use it for the Queen to keep her alive. We really want her to stay alive forever. This is actually looking really good here for Manta. I dare say this is a clan class triple, bro. Rip Tompinite Empire, if, if that's the case. A whole minute to go. Still has four Dragon Riders alive. RC ability intact. He's got it. <clears throat> He's got it. It's crushed. And just like that, Darkest Muzan are going to be walking away with the best of two victory over Tompinai Empire. Wow. They lose match number one by two stars and normally in a best of two you're like you lose match number one by two stars you basically already lost but they come out swinging in match number two with a perfect war and get 15 stars and even if tom Pinai empire triple darkest muzan win wow let's go ahead and see what tom Pinai empire can do with their final attack though michael dp is in with the final attack of the match unfortunately they lose no matter what. But let's see if he can finish it off with a three star here to entertain us. We're going in with a little wee wee action. Alrighty. Gonna start off with the Warden Walk over here on the bottom right side of the base. Warden Walk for a single target in front of Tower. You don't see that every day. But as long as we rage and freeze, he'll be able to get through it. There goes the Rage Spell. Down goes the Gold Mine. Down goes the other Gold Mine. Which way is the Warden going? Does he go for the Air Defense first? Nope. He goes for the single. Beautiful. Do we have to even freeze it? Eh, he's, just, he's not gonna play it, uh, or he is gonna play it safe. Gonna freeze, even though he might not have needed it. We're gonna wall break on the south side. Golem, Pecker is gonna make their way inside the base. Warden, gonna follow suit. Wee Wee's are going in as well. Okay. Log launcher to get us all the way through the base. Nice. Sweet. Queen going in. King on the outside to funnel. Cu couple of loons to help search for any sticking air mines. Down goes the Ego Artillery. Down goes the enemy Barbarian King. Log launcher gonna get us all the way through the middle of the base. Looking good. We're gonna wall break for the King on the left side. He might be able to take out that other scatter shot. Got a couple of witches out there. But with just two witches, are they going to be able to stay alive? I'm not even sure. We're going to rage the Wee Wee's in the middle of the base. King's going to pop his ability. He's going to go in for the scatter. Okay, I think the two witches will be able to stay alive. Nice. Log Launcher going to get us all the way to the Town Hall? Yeah? Maybe? Uh, nope, not quite. We might need the jump. King clears everything on that left compartment, which is beautiful. The witches... One of them's gonna die, but the Royal Champion on the left side is gonna keep the other one alive. We're gonna drop the jump. We're gonna rage and freeze the Town Hall and the single target Inferno Tower to get through all of that. We still got another rage and another freeze in the bag. There goes the last rage on the top side. Lots of skellies around that Town Hall. Down goes the single target Inferno Tower. Only one healer left alive. Ooh, bro, this thinned out fast. Uh oh, Queen's gonna be able to get the Town Hall. RC hopefully doesn't get inside the Orange Juice of Death. Oh, she does. He does. Rip. But she's going to get out of it quickly, but she's still going to die. We got a freeze in the bag, but Queen's standing inside the Orange Shoes of Death as well. Scattershot still alive on the right side of the base. It's looking like another defense for Darkest Muzan. Bro, what happened to Tompinai Empire? They get 14 stars in the first match, and then only 11 in the second match. Bro, they threw. They threw. OP defenses from Darkest Muzan. Got to give them credit. Nice defenses here in the second match. This one's going to fall short. The scatter shot's going to stay alive at full health. Skeleton trapped there to distract as well in the end. We got some troops for the outside buildings, but it's not going to be enough to get it done. 25 seconds to go, but our troops are going to die faster than that, I think. The witch, 
Should end up dying to the scatter here in a second, maybe, possibly, potentially. Down goes the baby dragon on the right side, down goes the witch, down go the skellies, and down go Michael DP's hopes and dreams of a three star here in match number two. It's going to fall short at 90%. And congratulations to Darkest Muzan, who are going to not only win match number two, they are going to be winning the best of two and making their way to the grand finals of the Torneo de Fuego Cup, where they're going to be taking on the winner of EM Dragon King versus JX Tiger, which we're going to be seeing later.